S that orthopedic surgeon should think about. Protein S and protein C deficiency and factor V lighting. Does that patient have a factor V lighting mutation? This patient is young and had this unexplained blood clot. I think I should get some blood work to check for protein S and protein C deficiency after I finish the comedin treatment. The risk of AVN, DVT, and PE is increased by having an inherited thrombophilia, which includes protein S, protein C deficiency, and factor V lidane mutation. Protein S and protein C work on the anticoagulation cascade. Protein C, in addition to thrombomodulin, which is found in the endothelial cells, will create an activated protein C. This activated protein C will work with protein S to inactivate factor number 5 and factor number 8, and that will lead to anticoagulation. Factor 5 Lydane mutation. It will produce factor 5 that is resistant to inhibition by the activated protein C. Protein C will not be able to inhibit factor 5. And when you can't inhibit factor 5, you will increase the risk of coagulation. That will result in DVT and PE. Protein S and protein C deficiency will decrease the ability to inactivate factor 5 and factor 8, and that will lead to a hypercoagulable state. Protein C is activated by the liver and blocks prothrombin from becoming thrombin, so there will be no clot. Combination of protein S and protein C together feed back and turn off the clotting by breaking down factor 5 and factor 8. It is a control valve for clotting, and if you don't have enough of them, you will increase the chances of clotting, because there is not enough of them to turn off the clotting mechanism well enough, and that will increase the chances of clotting. The coagulation system is a series of chemical reactions that leads to a clot. The end result will be the fibrin. Fibrin comes from fibrinogen with the help of thrombin. We need to control the hemostasis. We need to control the clotting system. If we lose control of the clotting system, we end with DIC, clotting all over the body, and clotting factors will be exhausted and we end by bleeding. And the way the body control hemostasis by having checks and balances. So while the coagulation cascade help in achieving hemostasis through different factors, there are other factors that will provide negative feedback to make sure we don't clot continuously. And the other factors will help in fibrin clot degradation. So the negative feedback is provided by two factors, the antithrombin, 3, and protein S and protein C. In the fibrin clot degradation, the plasminogen will become plasmin with the help of thrombin, and that will break down the fibrin clot. This is in order to control hemostasis, so you don't make clots. The plasmin breaks down the existing clots. How about the antithrombin 3? Well, the thrombin stimulates the antithrombin 3. The thrombin is in charge of everything. The thrombin control making the clot and control breaking the clot. The 
the thrombone activate plasminogen to plasmin, and the plasminogen causes fibrin clot degradation. It breaks down fibrin clot. The thrombin also stimulates the antithrombin 3, which blocks the formation of factor 10A, which blocks the formation of thrombin, which blocks the clotting. Antithrombin 3 is like heparin. Heparin stimulates antithrombin 3. Protein S and protein C are factors that control hemostasis. They work as an anticoagulant through a negative feedback. Protein S combine with protein C and together they help to control the blood clot formation. If these two proteins are non-functional or deficient, the clot formation can go unchecked, unregulated and there will be excessive clotting condition. Protein S and protein C can be one of the several inherited thrombophilias, condition that leads to increased risk for thrombosis and venous thromboembolism. You can test for protein S, protein C, and factor V Leiden mutation when there is unexplained blood clot or if the patient have a family history of blood clots, especially if the person is young. So you're going to investigate for possible existing clotting disorder. The patient must be of the comedin for at least two weeks or for 10 days after the episode. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.